up. Well, my mother, I guess, was a thinker and a visionary because she was, um, among other things, focused on space exploration. This is in the 1950s. And one result of that is when the Apollo space program came along in the 60s, a lot of my fellow environmentalists were kind of against it for various weirdly technical reasons. And all I saw was pure adventure, let's get on with it. And so as a result of that, I was on board with space and pushed, why haven't we seen a photograph of the whole Earth yet in 1966? And then we got the photograph and that created the environmental movement out of almost nothing. I was sort of acting as if I was lobbying NASA to get images of the Earth from space, but I was really lobbying the populace of the world <laughs> to pay attention to the image and to think about the image a little bit in advance so that when we got it, uh, there would be that shock of recognition. We have this big new mirror to think about ourselves in regard to, and also to think about it as a finite, fragile looking um, place that we live. And I was pretty sure that that set of things would occur when we had the photograph. Uh, amazingly enough, they did occur, and that photograph became so iconic that it replaced the previous iconic image of the Earth, which was the mushroom cloud of uh, the Cold War. So you got rid of a bad image and, and got a very positive image that is still with us. And that's why I wound up using it on the cover of my new book.